What is up, everybody? This is John with YouTube. <laughs> What is up, everybody? This is John with Archer Fish. Thanks for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, share, comment. I really appreciate uh, all the comments and engagements, criticisms, all of it. Bring it on. I just like the engagement. I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, <clears throat> hope you guys watched the last couple of videos, um, mostly about Castaic and Striper and stuff like this. And I want to talk to you today real quick, you know, a couple minutes, uh, just real quick about castaic guides and if they're worth it you know there's a lot of different ways to fish a castaic um, obviously you can bank fish which i started out doing you can rent boats which i also did many many times and uh, also you can go out with a guide if you don't have your own boat so i've gone out with only a couple guides there but i follow along with a lot of them and the first guide i went out with in the mid 2000s was just terrible this guy was the worst apparently he was a pro angler um tournament winner stuff like that and uh he was awful we went out in september when the bass were boiling and uh he, i could not get a single bass and i had yet to catch a, a large mouth there too i had been out a couple times with a rental boat and hadn't caught one so this guide would bring me right up to these bass boils and he had all the gear uh, and i trusted him all right tell me what to do i'm ready to do it and i would throw the big uh, white flukes um the super spooks or super flukes i mean and uh throw it right into the boils, right past the boils, do all this stuff. And I'd ask him and I wouldn't get bit. And I'd ask him like, why aren't I getting bit? What's going on? He's like, ah, it just happens. And I, I'm like, should I slow it down? Should I let it sink? Should I do it faster? Whatever it was, all these questions. And he had no answers for me. And I think that was the biggest problem I had with this guy is we fished all over that lake. And every time I had questions or like, you know, obviously fishing's fishing, you know, wh whether the bass bite or not, you know, sometimes it it's tough. But he didn't give me any information. And as an angler, as you guys all know, like information is key. It's why I started this channel is to give you guys as much information as I have, you know, as I've gleaned over the years and also what I learned from other people. Shout out to Drew Miller, Drew Man Fishing. Uh, check out his YouTube, check out his Instagram. Uh, he's been killing it with the big swim baits and, uh, and, and telling me the glide baits and all this stuff. So check out his stuff, man. He's been really hitting the lake hard these days. Um, but anyway, so, you know, uh, the information is what's key. And I started this YouTube channel specifically for beginners. Um, you know, because the first few times I went out to Castaic, I got skunked and I could not figure out how to catch these fish. And I was going in like September, October. At, you know, time, prime times for catching good largemouth, and I could not catch them. So just so you guys know, my channel is mostly geared towards beginners. Call it my mission statement. I'm going to start putting this in all my videos because I want you guys to understand that I'm trying to help beginners who are new to the sport, new to the lake, new to the area, new to Southern California waters, and try to help them catch fish because that is what I would have wanted back in the day. Now, with that being said, I have been fishing it for a long time. I've been fishing for a long time. So I like to, you know, experiment with different techniques. I do, you know, all kinds of, uh, you know, more advanced techniques and stuff like that. But my channel is mainly geared towards the beginner. So that being said, this guide was awful. And it wasn't until later in the afternoon, till, and as the first experience with striper boils, where he was zooming across the lake and we, we threw our uh, our our flukes into these big striper boils. These are like 50 yard long striper boils that would go off for like, you know, 30 seconds, 40 seconds, and then pop up on the other side of the lake. And it was just incredible. Was, I'd never seen anything like it and, and haven't really seen much since because this was, you know, this these were just massive, massive boils. Um, and so, yeah, that was, that was a lot of fun. I was able to catch striper. So the day was kind of like salvaged at the end by doing that, but my biggest problem with this guy is like no information, no details, like, you know, and, and that's a big deal for like, if you're a serious angler or a serious fisherman, like, you know, obviously we, we crave information, you know, water clarity, water temperature, you know, retrieve what, what, exactly the color that you need to use, even if all that stuff is kind of, you know, whatever, uh, you know, we crave that stuff. And so the fact that that guy didn't do that was a big strike and I was like I'm not you know spending you know four hundred dollars or whatever it was and a guy who's not going to show me anything or teach me anything you know so yeah that guy was a bust I wish I knew the name of the of him because I don't think he's a guide there anymore 
Um, not that I would throw him under the bus, but I would maybe say, yeah, avoid this guy. But I don't. He hasn't guided there in many, many years, so I have not seen him in many, many years. So you know, no big deal. As far as the other guides go, there, the only other one I've been out with is my buddy Jim at Six Six One Fishing. Um, and what I've always liked about him and, and how we became friends in the first place is he just eats, drinks, sleeps, and thinks about fishing. And he's so geared in with that lake. That's his home lake that he grew up fishing there. And uh, when you go out fishing with Jim, you know, even as his friend, you know, we just chop up the lake. We chop up exactly all the details. If you haven't seen his fishing report on Instagram, I mean, I, I follow along religiously on that. And you can see up to date fishing reports at Castaic. And a lot of it is firsthand experience because he's out on the lake a couple days a week all year long, rain or shine. Uh, January, February, the harder months, he is out there. Um, and he also, if he's not out there, he's got connected to the local tackle shops, Western Outdoors. He's he's kind of plugged in there because he's been there for a very long time. And uh, he will give you the up-to-date information. If you watch his, uh, if you follow along with his um, reports, uh, he'll tell you when the trout plants are and all that stuff. I try to do the same thing. You know, I've been trying to kind of let you guys know when the trout plants are, much to the chagrin of all the... Uh, the uh, swim bait guys on the shore. Sorry guys, but I'm trying to help everyone out here. So anyway, Jim is a great guide. I've been out with him you know, a whole bunch and we have a blast fishing. He'll he'll give you all those little details, all the little variables, you know, tell you exactly what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong, different gears. He He's gonna put you on fish, okay? He catches lots of six, seven pounders as well and he's gonna put you on fish. He's gonna put you on lots of fish. And if you've been skunked there on your own, he will get you on some fish because he knows the lake. He knows how to do it. He's out there all the time. He's friendly with all everyone else out there. So he's a fantastic guide. Now, the other option would be me. I would love to be a fishing guide. People have asked me to guide, to take them out and all that stuff. It would be a blast. I, I would enjoy doing it. I enjoy helping people catch fish. Uh, anytime I've been out with, uh, with other people, my subscribers or whatever, uh, you know, I've tried to help them catch fish as best as I could, you know, a couple little techniques or whatever it is to help them catch fish. So if I could guide, I would, maybe in the future, I may, uh, but right now it's just not in the cards. So if you want a great fishing experience, you know, go out with Jim at 661 Fishing. Um, he's he's fantastic and, you know, I am i don't get paid for this, you know, for, for his stuff, I don't get paid. It's just, I like him, he's a friend of mine. We bonded over fishing. And, uh, and he knows what he's doing and he's out there all the time and, uh, he'll, he'll, he'll get you on a live bait bite, uh, you know, when the shad are up, he'll get you on a striper when they're going off, you know, and he'll get you on a, a good bass bite too. But anyway, that is it. I haven't gone out with any other guides, so I cannot speak to if they are good or not. Um, I know there's a few other guys, uh, that, that fish there a lot. Um, obviously Rich Tauber, uh, you know, I've, I've talked to him a few times and Jim, uh, is friends with him and they kind of work together too. Um, uh, but other, other than that, like, I don't really know the other guys. So all I can tell you is my information specifically, cause I have no experience with them, but that is it. All right. If you guys have questions, uh, comments, concerns, put it on the, put it down below and I'll try to get back to you. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I'll see you tomorrow.